In 1981, Terry Collins began his managerial career in the Los Angeles Dodgers organization. He spent eight years managing in the minors, while his dream of becoming a major league manager remained out of reach. I'd started talking to enough people, knew that my chance to get into the big leagues with the Dodgers was not good, and I hadn't even been to major league camp ever before. You had not been to major league camp all the years in the Dodgers right. system. You were the AAA manager. Right. You were not major league camp. No. That had to bother you. Well, I, you know, like no, none of the other guys had been either. They before me, the AAA managers. It was just something that they didn't do here. And so all of a sudden, I started finding out around the league that all the tri other AAA managers were in Major League Camp. So at the time, in 88, it started to bother me. I just thought, you know what, to help things along, I, I, maybe it's time again to make a change. And so I, I left the Dodgers and went to the Pirates to be their AAA manager. And it was, to be honest, the, the best move I ever made. It was in Pittsburgh that Collins found a mentor, Pirates manager Jim Leland. When you first met him, was it during the interview process or was it in spring training? It was during the interview process. And what'd you think? Well, he reminded me of me. He had a very similar background. He was kind of stuck with the Tigers for all those years in AAA and um, didn't get a chance to go to the major leagues and, and went to the White Sox for his first chance. And after talking to him and hearing his story, I said, wow, it sounds a lot like what I'm going through. Different people take different avenues to the big leagues. And most of us, like in my situation, uh, Terry's situation, we really don't get there probably. And you have to have someone that, that, you know, believes in you, like Sid Thrift finally believed in me and gave me an opportunity at Pittsburgh. And I think that's important. And I, I just saw it all over his face. I knew that this guy was um, special. I mean, he knew a lot about managing. He had managed for the Dodgers for a while. And it really wasn't anything that, any secrets I was giving him, but I, I you know, give him an opportunity. The first spring training, we're getting ready to walk on the field and he stopped me in the first day and he said, I need to talk to you a second. And I said, okay. He said, oh, you need to know something. He said, I don't know you, but I don't like you. And I didn't know what I did wrong. And I said, what I do? And he said, nothing, but you're a Dodger. And, you know, nothing's ever good enough for you guys. I was just kidding with him, you know, uh, uh, when he came over from L.A., you know, because they were kingpins, you know. And, of course, I was always in Pittsburgh, and, you know, we didn't have a lot of money to spend and stuff. And we were trying to survive and everything, so I was kidding with him about it. But, uh, yeah, I, I probably said that to him, but only in a kidding way. What did he tell you in that first spring training? I know he gave you responsibilities right. in terms of organizing some things on the field. What did he tell you about your opportunities in the pirate system? Uh, Jim told me, he said, I never make promises, but if there's an opening on my staff, you're going to get the next next chance. And he came through on that and promise. And he came through. He did. Two years, a year later, Gene Lamont went to the White Sox, and, and I got to the major leagues. Tell me about that moment. Obviously, as a player, it didn't happen for you. As a minor league manager, it didn't happen for you. Jim Leland opened the door to the major leagues for Terry Collins. He did. He did, and I'll never forget it. You know, a lot of things that have happened since then that you look back and, and think, this is, geez, this is the greatest moment of my life. But it really was that time when I finally got my opportunity after a long, long journey. And this was finally my chance to see what, what the culmination and see what it's really like to be at, at the top of, of the sport that I love so much.